The Food and Drug Administration panel has cleared the way for Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine. California is anticipating delivery of more than 380,000 doses of the new vaccine next week and more than 1 million of the single-dose shots over the next three weeks. Final authorization will come over the weekend. There is light, not light, there's bright light at the end of the tunnel. We'll see that manufactured supply go north of 380,000 very confidently. End of March, we'll see those begin to significantly increase. Look, it was mentioned by some of the members of the senators, and I appreciate all the spirit of optimism, and there should be. CBS reporter Madeline Rivera has more on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine from FDA headquarters. Madeline? Good evening, Alan. Well, Johnson & Johnson cleared a significant hurdle today with the FDA Advisory Committee voting unanimously to approve its COVID-19 vaccine. And if the FDA clears it for use, it will come at a time when the country is looking to boost its COVID-19 vaccine supply. Voted yet. We do have a favorable vote. The U.S. is poised to get its third COVID-19 vaccine after an independent FDA advisory committee voted to greenlight Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine. That paves the way for the FDA to grant emergency use authorization. There is a shortage of vaccines um, that are currently authorized, and I think authorization of this vaccine will help uh, meet the needs at the moment. The FDA confirms that J&J's vaccine is slightly less effective than the Moderna and Pfizer shots overall, but showed 85% efficacy against severe illness and complete protection against COVID-19 deaths 28 days after getting the shot. It is well tolerated and safe. We enrolled more than 19,000 participants in the U.S., paid particular attention to include a diverse population. It also has advantages the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines do not. It can be stored at normal refrigeration temperatures and requires only one dose. It can lead to the ability to reach both individual and herd immunity more quickly. Essentially, it simplifies the process. The Johnson & Johnson shot was tested in part in South Africa while variants of the virus were spreading. Moderna announced this week it is preparing clinical trials for a booster shot for the South Africa variant. FDA authorization of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could come as early as this weekend. If that happens, the vaccine could be headed to states next week. Johnson & Johnson says it expects to provide 20 million doses by the end of March. According to documents obtained by CBS News, the CDC expects the vaccine will be recommended for use on Sunday. Live in Silver Spring, Maryland, Madeline Avera. Alan, back to you. All right, Madeline, thanks so much. We appreciate it.